1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 31 and 32 says, For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. If we would judge ourselves. Hmm. Um, world War Three is already underway, but the kinetic, where you have the killing, the fighting, the shooting, the bombs, the bullets, all that stuff, uh, it's approaching rapidly. And I think that uh, we're going to see some serious bloodshed here in America. And it grieves my heart to have to say that, but um, I can see it coming. All these illegal aliens of young men of military age coming into this country and being given all kinds of free things. Um, we have to come to the place where we realize that the Biden regime uh, and the powers that are behind it, um, they want us dead. Uh, we're not dealing anymore with Democrat versus Republican. And it, quite frankly, it wouldn't matter who was in. Um, here's a northern pleated woodpecker. Probably can't see him flying way up there, but one of the biggest woodpeckers in North America. But uh, the all of this stuff, the anti-gun stuff and whatever else that's coming out, um, Again, please understand what the whole anti-gun agenda is all about. Uh, they're coming out with this thing of, oh, there's been another shooting. We had the shooting in Lewiston, Maine, one of the, the worst in Maine's history and all of this other stuff. Um, if it's the worst in history and worst this and all these, this violence and everything else, why are you reporting on it? Um, reporting on criminals and things like that just makes the, it encourages the criminals to do more crime. You know, do you ever think about that? Um, you're going to have copycat killers. So why do they keep reporting? Because they want there to be more shootings. They want there to be more killings. That's what they're doing right now. It's called bringing down a nation. We are already in non-kinetic warfare, psychological operations and things. But we're heading now into a time where the kinetic war is about to start, unfortunately. And um, I say, well, I don't understand what 1 Corinthians chapter 11, there, what, what was that all about if we would judge ourselves? Well, brethren, here's what I want you to do to get ready for war. Um, and even if you're lost and you're watching this, what I want you to do is I want you to judge yourself apologize for your part in taking down this nation yes you heard me right apologize for your part in taking down america we've all been lazy we have all done things that the bible condemns as sin myself included and you have to repent and you have to get on your knees and say god i'm so sorry there's a lot of things that happened to america that were beyond my control but you know what um a lot of the things that I've done in my life that I'm ashamed of, um, that helped to bring down this nation. And we can all say that at some level. We can all say that we, uh, we deserve some level of judgment. But when you judge yourself as a saved man or woman, you judge your own sins. You say, God, I, I realize I've done this wrong and I've, I've done these other things wrong and I'm sorry, Lord. God, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I'm so vexed by this. And I'm sorry for America, Lord. I'm sorry for the babies that have been abor aborted in this country and the pornography that's been put out and all the Hollywood Satanism and everything else. Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the horrible things that our military has done in other countries, uh, saying that they're spreading freedom when they're not. I'm sorry for all the oppression of other people and the blood that's been shed and the the crime and the profanity and all, just all the evil, the drug trafficking and child trafficking and all these other things. Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Judge yourself. Why? Because if you judge yourself, then God won't have to judge you. God will look down and he'll say, he seeks for a man among them. He'll look down, he'll, he'll look at the hearts and the minds and he'll say, is there anybody down there that's actually sorry? about what this nation has committed, that's actually ashamed 
And if he finds someone, then God will have a reason to spare you. I greatly fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, the Bible says. And I think about the bad things that I've done in my life. And yeah, they're all forgiven. Yeah, they're paid for at the cross. I get it. The blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanseth us from all sin. That's true. But you're to go, it goes on to talk about confessing your sins. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Just because God died on the cross, He paid for your sins. It doesn't mean that you just get a you know free sin card or something and not have any conviction or whatever else. Um, how bad is it going to get? I don't know. I really don't know. We, uh, my wife and I were going over this the other morning and, and uh, here at the property and, and, uh, we listed 22 different things, 22 different bubbles that are about to burst, you know, things that are broken here in America. And that, uh, I mean, it, it's frightening to think of what all could happen. And, um, some of us might actually die very terrible deaths in the future. Happy and cheery thing to think about, but you know what? Um, it is a thing of joy and a thing of happiness when you're saved, when you were born again, and you start to realize, I might not have much longer to go before I meet my Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, and you know what? No matter what bad thing happens to you, to me, um, we have the promise of heaven. And if you're lost out there today, you don't have that promise. You do not have the promise of uh, eternity. So I suggest that you get that figured out very quickly. They say, well, I'm just going to wait. I, th I think I can just hold off and see. And Okay. Uh, I was actually looking up some things the other day and I saw my uh, cousin, her ex-husband, financial certified financial planner, big shot, you know, and everything else. And, and he was in Egypt and he was talking about how the Egyptian empire fell. And he said, you know, all great empires fall. And uh, someday I think America could fall as well. Now it won't happen in my lifetime. <laughs> I thought, huh, are you kidding me? <laughs> what an idiot. But see, his paycheck depends on him telling people that things are fine and that you should invest in a dying system. Um, so, I want a grouse over there. Uh, flew out of the tree, but let me show you something here. Um, <clears throat> right down there on the ground, that white stuff. We had uh, about three inches of snow on the 30th of October. And I didn't have a chance to do any kind of filming or anything, but, um, or, you know, doing video, but, uh, yeah, we had some snow and so most of it melted. It got up into the high thirties again, but, um, winter is coming. So just to explain some of my absence, um, you know, winter usually comes here November sometime is when you start to get the snow and then it starts to snow and it snows and snows and usually there till May or so. Um, but um, this year it's pretty cold and I think, I don't know, maybe we'll be getting a pretty rough winter this year. I don't know for sure. Maine winters are never the same one year to the next. That's one thing I've learned in the years that I've been here. There's some chickadees in the tree over here. Good morning boys so I don't know if you can see the chickadees getting ready for winter uh, just like I have to get ready for winter um, have to get a bunch of things done so that's why I haven't been online a whole lot um, still need to get my battery for my plow truck and get it ready for winter and I still have to do some cutting of things and and uh, so I'm being followed. What is that? Oh, it's an apple. Got it. Thought for a minute there was a snowball. I thought I was going to get hit in the back or something with a snowball. 
You wouldn't do that though, would you? You know, and I mean, again, oh, your brother Brian, don't talk about death in World War III in front of your son. He knows, he understands. Oliver studied World War II, right? Yes. Yeah. And he understands the reality of this world. He understands war and death and all the other things. Um, I'm not going to shield truth from my son. Uh, some concepts and things he doesn't need to understand right now. Um, but uh, we tell him the truth. And uh, But, you know, I just wanted to make a video here just to, to kind of get you to think about this whole thing of personal repentance. And, um, do you hear that? What's that? I thought I heard something. I'm going to sound like your mother was calling you, I don't know. But, uh, we'll probably head back here, but, um, I don't know what that was that I heard. But, uh, hopefully the war hasn't started. <laughs> It could happen that soon, I guess. Um, but you know, it's it's going to come, brethren. No nation can continue like America. And um, a lot of the things that they're just trying to tell you, oh, we have this great positive future. They're they're lying. Yeah. There they go, running away. Um, <clears throat> But, uh, I guess I should head back as well. I don't know what's going on over here. Uh, kind, of, kind of a little bit ominous, I guess. Uh, I don't hear any kind of bad stuff going on, but probably should get back and see what my, my wife is calling me for. So, judge yourself, brethren. Judge yourself. If we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. God is judge, judging this nation. And um, make sure you judge yourself. That's going to be it. I need to get going.